Hi everyone, I'm Sarah, a third year medical student in Australia and today we're going in for procedural skills training. Today we're doing uh, catheterization and uh, urine analysis, so I don't know how much I'll actually show you because I know some people get a bit weirded out by that sort of stuff, but I am interested in learning this technique because I know for males it's more complicated because internally there's this corner, it's quite steep and so if you keep pushing you'll just pop straight through and cause a perforation which isn't good, so I'm interested to see how you actually navigate that when you're putting them in but I can show you a few things it's very cold this morning I think it's about 11 degrees which is pretty cold considering it's not winter yet Today involves learning a very important skill. Now, I know many of you might feel a little bit squeamish about this one, but this is actually an incredibly important procedure when dealing with acute and very ill patients. Catheterization involves putting a tube up into the urethra into the bladder. This can be clinically important in patients who have a blockage or people who are in intensive care or in surgery and you need to monitor fluid balance. And this can also be really important in end of life care. The chances are you'll likely have one of these sometime during your lifetime. To start our journey today, we learned some of the indications and contraindications for the procedure, basically when we should and shouldn't do this procedure. We then reviewed some external and internal genitalia and urinary anatomy, so now it was time to give it a go. Now, I really wanted to trial the male one today because I heard it was more difficult and so I wanted to practice my skills. But alas, it was rather popular for that reason, so I ended up practicing on the female model instead. In hospitals, there is often a catheter kit available, minus the catheter itself. This tray basically has everything you need, cleaning utensils, gel, water, saline, a tray, some gauze and syringes. I got to practice using a sterile technique I learned in my skin cancer clinic days and managed to fit the long catheter on there too without contamination. We learned a variety of steps involving cleaning the area, applying local anaesthetic in the form of a gel, placing the tube, checking it was in place, and balloon inflation and deflation. I've got to admit I was fascinated by the little balloon on the end of the catheter. The catheter itself feels so smooth and squishy, but it has just enough shape to hold its own. In fact, there are different sizes that also have different levels of firmness for different circumstances. The balloon is inflated with water and drained after use, and this creates a plug to stop the urine from escaping. One of my classmates actually asked why they use water instead of saline, just out of curiosity. And it's because saline can form crystals which prevent the balloon from deflating, so you never want to put saline in there by accident. And to finish the job off, this sticker has to be filled out and placed in the patient notes. It started the bubble tea addiction. Oh, I've, I've only just started having bubble tea and it's so good. Oh, so back at the uni now. It was a good session. I'm pretty tired today, but I think I was a little bit shocked at how wide the diameter of the catheters that go into your urethra are. <laughs> I mean, we do put numbing lidocaine gel into there, so people shouldn't theoretically feel it, but it is wider than I expected. And obviously anatomically it, the body can handle it, but I just didn't know. And I'm so glad in GP I learned about sterile field and how to put on gloves. So I was able to practice the full run through making sure it was all sterile. So that was good. 
but my dummy did get water everywhere <laughs> because we didn't have a bag to practice with so the we which was just water was just going everywhere that could happen in real life I guess so that no, was a really good session and I obviously didn't show you too much of the details because it can be a bit confronting um, having genitalia on videos and things so hopefully you can still get an essence of what we did today even without that but for now I think I'm gonna enjoy this and hopefully it wakes me up a little bit and I need to get some stuff done research is out of the way but learning points are not and I need to start on that Heading home now. It's a beautiful sunset at the moment as you can see in the background. I end up staying for most of the day and got a fair bit of study done but I fell asleep on the table at some point. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. It's just a pre-exam stress I think but we're going to get on top of it. I will be planning all my exam prep very soon and this is where things start to get really busy. Each day I'll need to be meeting different deadlines and things so I'll let you know how that goes. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.